Mystery vs. Mystery Melly Mystery, 56-year-old cousin of Cyrus Mystery, counters the charges slapped on him by the ousted Tata Sons chairman. The officers of M. Palangi and Company are in a non-discrepant building in Horniman Circle in Mumbai's fort area that has more popular landmarks such as the century-old St. Thomas Cathedral and the more recent Starbucks Cafe run by the Tata Group. In one of those offices on the ground floor sits a cousin of ousted Tata Sons chairman Cyrus Mystery who finds himself caught in the crossfire in the battle between Mystery and Ratan Tata, the interim chairman of Tata Sons who is back in the saddle till a successor is found. Meet Melly Mystery, who is in combat mode and preparing for a legal face-off with Cousin Cyrus. The forebodings became apparent when Melly purchased 2.5 crore shares of Tata Power worth about 200 crore in the electric power generating company. The transaction was with an intention to show solidarity with Ratan Tata. Melly explains the intention behind the purchase of Tata Power shares was to give his side of the story at the EGM. For this, one might argue that he could have bought just one share, but he said the quantum showed his commitment and resolved to stay with the Tata Group. The EGM, however, never happened as Cyrus had resigned from the Tata Power Board along with other operating companies. Ever since the October 24th boardroom coup, neither side has spoken to each other. Melly believes that had Cyrus's father, Palanji Mystery, been active, or for that matter, his elder brother Shapur been in Cyrus's place, this point of no return at the Tata Group would never have been crossed. Melly's and Cyrus's mother are sisters. Melly and Cyrus's paternal grandfather lived in England when Melly's mother was born, just before World War II broke out. The family left England to take shelter in Ireland, where Cyrus's mother was born. This explains why Melly has a UK passport and Cyrus an Irish one, but they also have a connection from the paternal side. Their fathers were first cousins whose grandfather in 1865 set up Littlewood Palangi, a partnership firm that has small beginnings with the construction of a pavement at Girgaon. It later went on to build several landmark buildings in Mumbai. The two mystery families carved out their own businesses and niches. The rift between the cousins now runs deep. Old transactions of 1993 have been dusted up, some personal transactions which involve Ratan Tata, a flat in Bhaktava built by Melly's father Kersas, where Ratan Tata stayed since 1969 as a tenant for more than three decades, has been highlighted for scrutiny in the NCLT petition. The Cyrus Mystery faction questions whether it is ethical for the senior most employee of the organization, the group chairman, to claim tenancy on a company flat given to him on the express condition that tenancy rights would always remain with the company, Forbes Forbes Campbell. Melly defends the transaction, saying it was a reciprocal arrangement between the their tuned Tata companies, namely Tata Textiles and FFC. In 1999, FFC decided to sell the flat after considering the reports of two valuers, Colliers Jardet and Roshan Nanabati. The transaction passed the scrutiny of the Income Tax Department. What's more, when Tata occupied Bhaktava, another flat in Everest in Tardeo was given to FFC by Tata Textiles in lieu of the Kolaba flat, he said. Both were Tata Group companies then. Another land transaction, this one in 1993, about 23 years ago, for farmland in Alibak on Mumbai's outskirts, has also come up in the NCLT petition. 
Melly apparently had helped Ratan Tata acquire the land. If nothing, it shows the proximity between the parties, Cyrus's team argued, to which Melly reposts that it is nothing but an attempt to sensationalize a personal transaction.